Monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs, are a class of medications used in the treatment of depression, which is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest in everyday activities. Even though the exact cause of depression is still unknown, there is some evidence that suggests it's related to low levels of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, which are also called monoamines because they only have one amine group. Now, monoamine oxidase inhibitors work by increasing levels of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, which help to alleviate the symptoms of depression. All right, now within the brain, there are many different types of neurons, but we're going to focus on only three. Serotonergic neurons that release serotonin, noradrenergic neurons that release norepinephrine, and dopaminergic neurons that release dopamine. Each of these neurons synthesizes and stores neurotransmitters in small vesicles, so when an action potential reaches the presynaptic membrane, these vesicles fuse with the membrane, releasing neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft. Serotonergic neurons release serotonin, which then binds to 5-HT2 receptors, thereby increasing neural stimulation and regulating mood, feeding, and reproductive behavior. On the other hand, noradrenergic neurons release norepinephrine, which hooks up to the norepinephrine receptors, boosting alertness and focus. Lastly, dopaminergic neurons release dopamine, which binds to dopamine receptors, stimulating cognitive functions, motivation, and awakeness. As long as there's a high enough concentration of neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft, the postsynaptic neurons will continue to fire. Now, each of these presynaptic neurons has small reuptake proteins, which pump the neurotransmitters from the synaptic cleft back into the presynaptic neurons. Once inside the neuron, a class of enzymes called monoamine oxidases will break down some of these neurotransmitters. Monoamine oxidase A breaks down serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, and monoamine oxidase B only breaks down dopamine. The neurotransmitters that are not broken down are packaged into pre-existing vesicles, waiting to be released once more. Now, in people with major depressive disorder, MAOIs are used to increase the levels of all the neurotransmitters related to depression. It's important to note that MAOIs are not the first-line therapy due to their severe side effects. Instead, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, are used as the first-line therapy. MAOIs can be used as the second- or third-line therapy, and they're especially effective in treating atypical depression. In contrast to major depressive disorder, which is characterized by a persistent feeling of sadness, individuals with symptoms associated with atypical depression are able to improve their mood in response to positive events and circumstances. They also experience increased appetite, weight gain, sleepiness, and fatigue. Now, MAOIs are subdivided into two types, non-selective and selective. Non-selective MAOIs, such as isocarboxacid, phenylzine, and tranylcypramine, inhibit monoamine oxidase A and monoamine oxidase B, so serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine levels will increase. These medications are also called irreversible MAOIs because they bind irreversibly to the enzymes, permanently blocking their function. Once these enzymes are inhibited, the monoamine's neurotransmitters get packed into pre-existing vesicles. So, the next time an action potential reaches the presynaptic membrane, more neurotransmitters are released into the synaptic cleft and alleviate the symptoms of depression. On the other hand, selective MAOB inhibitors like like selegiline and risagiline, will only inhibit MAOB, so they only increase the level of dopamine. Although they can be used as antidepressants, they are more commonly used to treat Parkinson's disease, a neurodegenerative disorder that affects the dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra region of the brain. The most dangerous side effects of MAOIs include serotonin syndrome and hypertensive crisis. Serotonin syndrome is a life-threatening condition caused by serotonin accumulation, which overstimulates the nervous system. This syndrome is characterized by skin flushing, hyperthermia, agitation, muscle rigidity, seizure, and coma. This is very common when other antidepressants that increase serotonin level, such as SSRIs, are combined with MAOIs. Because of this, it's recommended that MAOIs be stopped for at least two weeks which is the time it takes to replace the MAO enzymes, 
before starting another antidepressant. Treatment of serotonin syndrome consists of administration of cyproheptadine, which is a serotonin antagonist that blocks 5-HT2 receptors. On the other hand, hypertensive crisis is a condition characterized by hyperthermia, increased blood pressure, increased heart rate, arrhythmias, and agitation. It's commonly seen in individuals that combine MAOIs with tyramine-rich food and drinks, such as cheese, wine, and beer. Normally, within the cells of the gut wall, both monoamine oxidase A and monoamine oxidase B break down tyramine. But when they're inhibited, more tyramine is absorbed. Higher concentration of tyramine increases norepinephrine release, which leads to hypertensive crisis. Treatment of this condition consists of administration of phentylamine, which is an adrenergic antagonist that blocks norepinephrine receptors. Now, we want to make a simple and fun mnemonic that'll help you efficiently memorize and retain all these farm facts. So, let's have a sad old man representing major depressive disorder, but he's being cheered up by a little girl with a flower, representing its effectiveness for treating atypical depression. Now, these are treated by the non-selective MAOIs, so let's use a fiery phoenix for phenylzine, who's sitting in a box full of ice for isocarboxacid. The box is on top of a trampoline for tranylcypramine. The trampoline has the large letters A and B on it to help you remember these medications inhibit both MAOA and MAOB. Next, let's have an empty parking spot for the MAOIs that can be used to treat Parkinson's disease. A man wearing a ghillie suit is protecting this parking spot, which represents selegiline and resagiline. Unfortunately, the ghillie suit doesn't help him hide since there's a big red letter B on it, but it does help you remember these medications are selective for MAOB. Now, for the side effects of MAOIs, let's use the knight representing serotonin syndrome from our SSRI video. He's dead and is about to be cremated. His body is stiff, so there's muscle rigidity. The hot fire represents hyperthermia, and the armor is glowing red for flushing. For hypertensive crisis, let's set a platter full of cheese and wine, which are both tyramine-rich foods, on top of a red garden hose representing a blood vessel. This crushing weight increases the pressure in the hose, so hypertension. All right, as a quick recap, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs, are antidepressant medications that inhibit monoamine oxidases and prevent the breakdown of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, so they can be released again into the synapse. Non-selective MAOIs, which include isocarboxacid, phenylzine, and tranylcypramine, are second or third line antidepressants that are particularly effective against atypical depression. Selective MAOB inhibitors, such as selegiline and resagiline, can treat Parkinson's disease. These medications are not the first line therapy for depression due to dangerous side effects like serotonin syndrome and hypertensive crisis. But wait, there's more! Here's a mind map with all of the mnemonics from our video. Go ahead and pause the video so you can test yourself to see what you remember. Stay tuned for the answers at the end. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.